Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio for hashtag my creative year for my muse. Um, they said that when you do my muse, let me move the light a little bit, that you can do it on something that you're interested in. Could be a short video, and this will be, I promise. But I have become obsessed with working in a gifted Dilusions journal and two inserts that fit inside it. Now, I put this on other videos, but I've since finished one of the inserts in here and put it away, put a new one in, and I'm still working on the black one, and that's the one I want to talk about today. I have become obsessed with playing with color, texture, and motion. I'm, I love the way the white looks on the black. This is a white jelly roll pen, and I think I might have filled some of this in with a Signo. I just don't remember, but this is white jelly roll. But this is new. This is from uh, DecoArt Fluid Acrylics, and they're, very, they're translucent paints. They're not opaque, um, but they're so cool. So a couple friends and I were in a chat room together and we were talking about stuff and I said that I had been looking at things on Pinterest and I was really interested in these, that they just look so cool. And I think the original stuff was inspired by Aborigine art from Australia. So we all started doing this. We all started finding paint and then doing the dots down and doing the different widths. But what is so cool about this is that, I don't know if you can, no, you can't see. Oh, there you go. It's shiny. Look at that. And it's not glittery. It's just shiny. And someone told me it was probably because there was a coating on this black um, cardstock Dilusions journal. But I don't care. I just think it looks very cool. And if you put more than one coat on it, it sits up on top of the paper. It doesn't absorb into it. It sits up on the paper. And when you run your hand, and I'm a knitter, so I have to touch you run your hand on it and you can feel all the texture from everything that you painted. Very cool. So then I, I couldn't, couldn't stop. I found some more Aborigine art on Pinterest and used my white Posca pen for this one. And it's a, it looks like an onion, like the layers of an onion. But I just was so fascinated with it, I could not help myself. And so I did a whole page like that and I liked it so much, let's see if I can find it, that I actually carved a stamp that kind of looks like it and have been using it on a jelly plate. I know, it's a little obsessive. All right, so then I saw someone on uh, Instagram do this pattern. It's the same thing over and over, just, you know, it looks like, kind of like wavy. And all it is is a jelly roll pen or a jelly pen and lines going kind of humpy through each one of those things here. Mind numbing, <laughs> repetitive <laughs> task. Then I looked at more Aborigine art on Pinterest and I saw things that were like this, like the color I did, except for I did this with the white, uh, I think I did this with the white Posca pen that was on its last leg, so it looks, you know, a little rough. And then I saw another one that had all these squares and things in it, or these rectangles. So after I finished it, I looked at them and I had left them all blank and I thought, it, I thought, nope, gotta fill them in. Gotta fill in that empty space. So that's when I started doing the dots. Oh, this is from a gray, that's what these are. Oh, sorry. This is from a gray Posca and a white Posca. So I just did all this. Now I didn't finish putting the white lines everywhere, but that will be filled in. Then we moved on, then I moved on on Pinterest to something else that caught my eye after I followed this. It's like Seymour, you know, you go down below the picture, you um, look to see what other related art there was. Then there were these kinds of things done with the jelly roll pins, the souffles, the regular jelly rolls, and I think somebody had done glitter jelly roll. I'm not messing with the, gel the glitter jelly roll because I had a hard enough time getting my souffles not to dry out and ruin stuff. But these are all, I think, all but one of these colors is a regular jelly roll. One of them might have been a souffle. I had a bucket full of pens 
and it ended up throwing half of them away because I could not get them to write. So this was the group that was left over. And I love how it's so bright and colorful. And I told people in the past, I'm not really big on color, but boy, do I like this. That is very cool. Then I got a hold of the pink, pink jelly roll that was in there, and I'm gonna fill this page up with all these little circles so that I can see how wonderful the pink is on the black. So that's what my muse is today, is using this Dilutions journal and doing all kinds of different things in here with the white jelly, with the um, Uniball Signo pen, the white Uniball Signo pen. Um, I tried to use the that for this. It feels kind of chalky. I'm not sure how I feel about this one, but I'm going to do this one kind of like that for the pink page back here and see how it brightens up. So this is the rest of it. I just do a quick little flip there. It's just killing time while I watch TV. All right, so that's it for my muse. So right now I'm just obsessed with working in the black Dilutions Journal. I might do a video on, well, I'll do a video eventually, a flip once I finish the black Dilutions Journal. I will do a video on it so everybody can see the completed thing. I'm not going to come back and do little snippets of it over time. I'll just do it all at once in the end. All right. This is Vicki Brown from Messy Table Studio on behalf of hashtag MyCreativeYearTeachers. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.